Well, two Northeast Indiana men are preliminarily charged with several felonies related to allegedly burning down a Mennonite church near Ship Shawana. Our Corinne Rose just got back from that devastating scene. She's here with the very latest on the investigation. Corinne. Brian, investigators say recently installed security cameras on the Rosewood Fellowship Church helped tie the two men to the arson. Early Thursday morning, the conservative Mennonite church began burning, and even as fire departments worked to put out the fire, the only thing members of the congregation could do was stand by and watch. Officers say the security video showed two men pull up in a black Jeep and spend more than an hour inside before leaving. And then when they responded to another call that morning about a burglary in progress, they found 21 year old Andrew Yoder and 23 year old Michael Wengert of Topeka in a black Jeep. They took them in for OWI and having an outstanding warrant and then realized that church items were in the car. While the men reportedly confessed, a motive has not been released. Investigators and a witness tell me the loss is devastating. This is taken away from a lot of people that that rely on that um, you know and it it might be a joke to the subjects that that cause the damage but like I said they they uh, cause a lot of turmoil and, and uh, heartache to a lot of people around here got to be a sad sad position to be in their life uh, to live a life that leads to something like this uh, one of the things I noticed I'm already talking about was extending forgiveness to someone if it was the something someone that started it sin that was while it was still in still in uh, flames so I think that's a pretty good testimony for the church I don't know if you saw the the sign down there, it says the church burned, but the, the cross still stands. So that's kind of where they come from here, what they what they would like the, the community to see. Hostetler says his grandfather is a pastor at the church and his parents are members of the 100 person congregation and that he attended when he was younger. Yoder and Wengard are each charged with three felonies. Now the church was insured, but the loss is expected to be at least half a million dollars and will need to be rebuilt. And Brian, that's going to take some time. A tremendous loss for that congregation for sure. Corinne, thank you.